Welcome to the Grace Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Ike the Explosive One. And uh, let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT, I hear you got a very dystopian story uh, for me today. I do. So apparently, Jonas, there was a group of college students that uh, found an application that they could uh, load up to the google the meta the meta uh, ai goggles oh like a google glasses or something yeah, like that Yeah, the google glasses. was it yeah. to say what country this happened in? was it the u.s it did say that but uh i have closed the application on my oh, phone okay, so fair. i don't know how to have the article up right now sorry fair 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 but uh they hooked their glasses up and uh they were able to in real time see people's faces the ai ran the information through the computer was able or through the internet was able to find their personal information and these people were able to walk up these to these people with uh personal information and just start a conversation with them okay so like it it uh so they would look at they i look at you it registers your face it then searches the internet and puts information about you to their phone yeah it actually okay. like um we'll watch a video on it a little bit. I just want to see a little bit of it just so that you can see truly, the gravity of it. Yeah, truly understand what's okay, happening well, here. Okay, without getting the video yet, that sounds terrifying. Uh yeah. Like kinda, some guy walks up to me, he's just like, Hey Jonas, uh, you know, you didn't you go to uh, grow up in Ohio? And I'm just like, Yeah, he goes, Oh, I must know you from yeah and and you're like, like oh okay hey what's your name buddy yeah and it's it's not like i don't think i would be fooled by anything but it gets somebody a foot in the door and there's just like certain things that you know yeah it's i am mm. i am a person i mean granted i don't have a job or i'm not part of a, a thing where i meet tons of people like one time like you know like people who who work for like foundations and things like that they're at big events there's thousands of people there people you know they may have run hey i'm so boom boom shake a thousand hands rub a bunch of elbows mm -hmm. it's entirely possible that like you wouldn't remember someone yeah. but like i don't do enough that someone could come up to me and be like oh i met you in ohio at a thing at a, and i'd be like Bro, I don't, I don't know so. you, dude. Uh, yeah, I don't no, know. I don't you. think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know because I know like seven people. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm gonna roll a little bit of the video here just so we can get a true okay. gravity. Yeah, of yeah. The so watch this on the here. YouTube. I mean, this will have some sound, so you'll be able to hear it. But uh, okay, here we go. Wait. To use it, you just put the glasses on. Then, as you walk by people, the glasses will detect when somebody's face is in frame. This photo is used to analyze them, and after a few seconds, their personal information pops up on your phone. Oh, right? this is me volunteering. June Lee, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. You're, uh, this photo was created. This is, like, from... You're from Bergen days. County Academies? Yeah. Your, <laughs> your Korean name is Ju Eun? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cambridge Community Foundation. Try it on a real person in the Oh, so he's hi, ma'am? Wait, right are, are you, a uh, Betsy... Yeah. Oh, okay. I think I, uh, I think I met you through like the Cambridge Community Foundation, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's great to meet you. I'm Kane. Oh, oh wait. Oh, so do you happen to be a person working on like like minority stuff for like Muslims in India at all or something? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you Kashif? Yes. Oh, I've read your work before. It's super cool. Insane. <laughs> I'm Andrew. God. Nice to meet you. Oh, I love Andrew. Get in frame. Oh. Okay. But uh, are you uh, Sarah Chan? Look, this is obviously their content. I've got more on the story now as, as well. So okay, <clears throat> this is two Harvard students actually created this uh, this demo of how the smart glasses can be used uh, the, for the facial recognition means. for this. Uh, yeah, and uh, they and so they're Harvard students, and I don't know what they've unleashed onto the world. Dude, to be honest, because here's what I I see people. Here's what I see: creepy dudes. Creepy dude. wearing this, seeing a girl, it pops up their info, and they're like, "Oh my god, Jane!" And she's like, "Yeah." It goes, "It's it's me. It's it's John. I know I know you through your friend Betsy. We met at Idaho State, remember?" Yeah, yeah. And then like they're like, then they start feeling safe because like you know a lot about them, and really they're just like a creepy dude who's trying to get with you. <laughs> That's exactly what's gonna happen. It's or they're gonna try to take your money, or they're gonna try to take your. You know? Well, it's like um, it's like your you body know, money. You know what it oddly reminds me of? 
is those old PSAs from like about like with kids like don't wear your name on your short because a stranger is going to come up and like they come up and be like oh Joey your mom told me to come pick you up because your shirt like says Joey on it you know yeah, you're a kid yeah, yeah, yeah. same sort of thing like if someone comes up and knows your name and knows about you you're probably going to be you're going to your guard's going to go down immediately like if I walk up to a girl and go say hey what's your name or I walk up and go Tina she's going to be less likely to be like off guard if I come up and know her name I mean that's pretty true yeah so it's like oh that's creepy dude yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what this is going to do. Obviously, all it takes is for somebody to figure out a competent way that this can be used to scam people. Oh, and yeah. it will be used or to scam like, people. Or it'll be like, oh, is your grandma Josephine? Yeah. She's in the hospital. Give <laughs> there, me a million dollars. There's a, there's a lot of different scenarios. Dude, I, uh, so you know I don't think the app is currently available t- for the public. There's no way that it can be like downloaded or utilized. You can't get it off of the, the Google shop. Or right, 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 like right, 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 right. But it it's, is. Somebody like Meta is going to buy it, though. Yeah. I mean, it it is. It's kind of daunting. Like, you've been anti-AI for a while. This this is making me a little uncomfortable. I mean, you don't think they have that technology and cameras on the street? I mean, and yeah. The cops use it to to a certain extent. I'm probably sure that they probably even uh, used some of that type of. I mean, uh, that's essentially facial recognition software. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean, it's nothing new in this country. I mean, walking I guess. down Austin, there's there's uh, there is cameras everywhere. I will say is that it it is more reassuring it's more reassuring when the government has th- that kind of control in their power because they have checks and balances to keep that stuff in check where if yeah. i just give it to earl down the street the i don't know what the hell crazy Earl's, earl down the street he i don't got know what earl's to- gonna do with my info what's earl gonna do yeah dude it um he finds my social security number eh, it's eh, over it's a it's a really it's it's a really weird thing that person reads your information, sees that you're an old lady. Oh, your husband died last year. You live alone. This is your address. Yep. You're way out here. I know nobody's at your house. You're it, home by yourself in the middle of the night because I know you're old and divorced and you live in the middle of nowhere. Exactly. And it's, it's just so much. Like, if a person can read your information and they can be like, this house is empty because it's Saturday night and I know nobody's home. Or, yeah, or, or like, yeah, I can look at your Insta and see you're on vacation. And I know your, <laughs> and I know your address. That's so much, man. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. All yeah. right. I don't know, Jonas. What, what, do, you, what do you think, man? I what mean, do you think? I mean, I, I, you know how I feel about AI, man. It's a, it's a <laughs> I don't need a smart stove and I don't need no glasses so I can like try to pick up chicks easier either. I'll fail and love it rather than have this. That it is insane. Though. I mean, I understand why people want to do it though. Why people want to do what? It's Steal from people? Glasses and figure out who people are. I'm like, not, yeah, I'm not like, gonna lie. No, it dude, like fun. It, you you see a girl that you want to hit on. Whoa. You stare at her. You look no. at it. You're like, oh, is she? Is she? Uh, oh, she's got a record. No, I'm no. good. I'll no. pass on that one. <laughs> Honestly, if she has a record, she probably puts out. Dude, wow. <laughs> what? Lord. What? I don't know. I'm just saying. Why do Why do uh, criminals like to have sex? <laughs> They like the deviant side of life, baby. Oh, man. They like it. I, I guess. Just putting it out there. You I know? don't know. What it's I don't good. know, man. Like, I feel like mm-hmm. just more and more people are going to, like, create their own ish, man. And then it's going to be some. Yeah. I mean, there have already been laws passed against a lot of the, the AI stuff going There's around. There's laws against AR-15s and. And bump stocks. That's true. And people but, get them all the time. But the best thing that we can do is make the thing illegal because at least it adds a little bit of pushback to the people who want to just use it just like it, all it the time. It curbs use some. Exactly. It doesn't curb the use because criminals are going to criminal. They don't care about being criminals. Yeah, but, but then you get the prosecute. Who do care about being criminals. Yeah. But then you get to prosecute the criminals, dude. You get to take their money. And if they don't have the money, just put them in a box. America. This is your box. Welcome to America. <laughs> this is your box. Well, I'm putting that on a shirt. I mean, essentially, everybody gets put in a box anyways. That's what I'm saying, Yeah. Man. I mean, this is, this is your a box. metaphorical to, box uh, yeah, or, a, ex- or an actual box. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It was. That's why it hit me hard. What's my box? 
What's your box? Yeah, what's my box? Um, come on, Jonas. <laughs> this white male. I'm sorry, man. You got you got a good box, brother. <laughs> you got a good box. box. All right. <laughs> Why can't I just be awesome, amazing man? You got a good box, brother. Just live with it, all right? Use your box for good, all right? I'm not going to let the nice people into my box. Got a pretty good box, brother. I'm just saying, all right? All right, man. You got anything else on this? Uh, This is only the beginning. Oh, yeah. This is I've only been saying the beginning. it, man. Y'all called me crazy. We got to have some regulations on this stuff, and uh, you know, I'm sure that we will in the future. Yeah, somebody's going to do something wild, I'm sure. So, But that's all the time we have today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com. That's where you can subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out. <laughs>